Christmas in the Big Woods by uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder. Okay. Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in a big woods of, Wis of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. Oh, look how much snow it there's there. Whoa. Laura lived in the little house with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her little sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. Christmas was coming and the little house was covered with snow. When Pa came in from shoveling, he caught Laura up in a big bear hug against his cold winter coat. His mustache was covered with melting snowflakes. It's very cold there. Ma was busy all day long cooking good things for Christmas. She baked bread and apple pies and filled a big jar with cookies. Laura and Mary got to lick the spoon. Yum, yum. Oh, I like to lick the spoon. Pa and Ma showed Laura and Mary how to make molasses candy by pouring hot sugar and molasses syrup into pans of snow. The syrup hardened at once and turned into candy. Laura and Mary could eat one piece each but the rest was saved for Christmas Day. Look at how they made squiggles. The day before Christmas, Aunt Elsa, Uncle Peter, and cousins Peter, Alice, and Ella came to visit. Laura and Mary heard sleigh bells ringing, and then a big bobsled came out of the woods. Aunt Elsa, Uncle Peter, and their cousins were inside covered up with blankets. Right there, this is before cars. When everyone came inside, the little house was filled to the seams. Jack ran around in circles, barking happily. Now there were lots of children to play with. More than usual. Laura and Mary and the cousins put on their warm coats and mittens and scarves and went outside to make pictures in the soft, deep snow. See if you lay in it, you can make a snow angel. They played so hard that when Night came, they were too excited to sleep, but they knew they must, or Santa Claus would not come. So they hung their stockings by the fireplace, put on their red flannel nightgowns, and went to bed. There are the cousins right there. Everybody's in bed. In the morning, they all woke up almost at the same moment and ran to see what was in their stockings. In every stocking was a pair of bright red mittens and a stick of red and white striped peppermint candy. They were so happy they could hardly speak. Oh, oh look at somebody got a doll too, it looks like. But Laura was the happiest of all. In her stocking was a beautiful rag doll with black button eyes and a pink and blue calico dress. Laura named her doll Charlotte and she let all the other children hold her. Oh, that was nice to share. For Christmas breakfast, Ma made each child a pancake man. All the children held their plates next to the stove and watched while Ma made the pancake men one by one out of pancake batter. Peter ate his up right away, but the girls ate theirs slowly to make them last. That looks like a gingerbread man, huh? It was too cold to go outside, so the children played quietly inside. They ate their candy, admired their mittens, and looked at the pictures in Pa's big green book until it was time for the cousins to go home. Laura held Charlotte in her arms the whole time. At last, Aunt Eliza, Uncle Peter, and the cousins bundled up in their coats and blankets and got into the bobsled. Goodbye, they called, and off they went into the woods. In a little while, the happy sounds of the sleigh bells were gone and Christmas was over. But what a happy Christmas it had been. They had family there. Oh, and there's Charlotte the end.